BitBoy revealed after that XRP will win SEC. XRP to $75,000. The Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, in a lawsuit against Ripple will hardly be able to prove to the court that Ripple sold its XRP tokens to investors as an investment contract, according to crypto YouTuber Ben Armstrong, known as BitBoy. This is because there are no such contracts, Armstrong said. Welcome to the Finance Up channel. If you liked this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the analysts are right about XRP? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP, watch the video to the end, to like and subscribe. That's why the popular crypto influencer expects the case to be resolved soon in Ripple's favor. His argument stems from a recent court ruling in which Judge Sarah Netburn ordered the SEC to explain how the Howey test applies to XRP, Bitcoin and Ethereum, as well as the sale of XRP as an investment contract. In many ways, the case was due to the fact that the holders of Ripple and XRP worked together for the purpose of profit. The SEC claimed that Ripple was selling XRP to investors in such a way that they believed that Ripple would work to make the token profitable. However, Due to the recent decision, the XRP supporter believes that the SEC will be forced to admit that there is nothing in any of these contracts that caused the expectation of profit by XRP buyers. Quote, this is one of the reasons why BitBoy stated that the SEC is probably still fighting to save face. He also believes it is possible that both sides will come to an agreement soon. However, this is not what he hopes for. BitBoy and many members of the XRP community expect the SEC to fail and fail. This is because they believe that a case ending in a settlement agreement will only arm the SEC against another victim in the industry. Another well-known XRP supporter sharing the same opinion was attorney John Deaton, the head of the XRP Army v. SEC litigation. In a recent interview with Paul Barron Network, the lawyer argued that if the case is brought in summary proceedings and the ruling is that XRP is not a security, and the SEC does not provide fair notice to Ripple, as a result, the commission will lose jurisdiction. Power over most of the crypto industry. If, however, the case ends with a settlement agreement, the SEC can still deal with other cryptocurrencies, he said. Meanwhile, Ripple continues to build partnerships that can improve it in the long run. Over the past few weeks, they have announced significant partnerships that will allow them to provide on-demand liquidity (ODL) to major banks in the Middle East and Africa. They have also partnered with the Digital Pound Foundation, an independent forum, to work on developing a CBDC for the UK. That's why BitBoy believes that Ripple is looking at the big picture and aspires to become an internationally recognized settlement level within the legacy financial system. Joseph Hall, who previously served as the managing director of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, on policy issues, expressed the opinion that the regulator is likely to lose the court against Ripple. The lawyer called the main argument in favor of the company the fact that the SEC filed claims against the company after many years of the latter's work, accusing it of trading unregistered securities. He also added that he did not understand why the commission needed this case at all. Quote, he said that he expects a more active course of this case in 2022, but does not think that it will be closed this year. During an interview with Fox Business News, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse shared his thoughts on the progress of the SEC case against Ripple Labs. It's been a hectic few weeks of unsealed memos, and despite the ongoing war, the XRP community has been eager to find out if everything is okay with the controversial crypto asset. For his part, Garlinghouse said he feels clarity is approaching. He said, quote, and so the case continues to move forward, we expect some decisions from the court, you know, sooner rather than later, as it concerns a couple of decisions in court, but look, the case is moving slowly. The executive director also took care to criticize the comparison of the crypto industry with the Wild West, made by SEC chairman Gary Gensler. Of course, the interview could not end without covering the Russian-Ukrainian war and the issue of sanctions. On this occasion, Garlinghouse said that some crypto critics do not have sufficient knowledge about how the technology works and expect a complete ban in countries subject to sanctions. In addition, he stated that Ripple is a responsible player, working with the US government. 
it wasn't just Garlinghouse who was optimistic about the Ripple and SEC timeline. Cryptography lawyer John Deaton, representing the interests of tens of thousands of XRP holders, also supported the opinion of Ripple CEO about the imminent result. Moreover, he expressed confidence that the open evidence regarding Hinman's emails would help achieve a settlement or even a favorable verdict for XRP investors. I am quite sure that these emails and Estabrook's notes are huge evidence that will lead either to a settlement or to a final victory. We just need the solution to come right. About a possible solution, Deaton explained. Earlier I said either today or on Monday. If today is not Monday, I will be shocked if it is not submitted by the end of next week. Quote, According to the market data of Santiment, crypto whales absorb most of the XRP coins, the accumulation of which over the past seven days amounts to hundreds of millions of dollars. Sharp movements in the trading volume of crypto assets signal significant price implications for XRP in the coming weeks. There are currently over 350 whale addresses, each containing over 10 million XRP. The increased accumulation also means that most XRP holders are confident that Ripple will win a groundbreaking victory in the ongoing litigation with the SEC alleging that they raised more than $1. 3 billion through an unregistered securities offering. Attorney Joseph Hall, a former SEC employee, said in a recent interview that the SEC should not have brought the lawsuit at all. He hinted in every possible way that Ripple would win, referring to the Commission's lack of grounds for initiating a case. He even said that the Regulatory Commission's efforts could be terminated. Quote, the current scenario observed in November to December 2020 demonstrates the most likely direction of future price shifts. After rapidly accumulating about 1.3 billion XRP during this period, the price of XRP rose significantly against BTC in the next three months, as the crypto asset proved to be a more reliable cryptocurrency during the general downturn of the crypto market. Analysts at Santiment suggest that a similar logic can be applied to the expected price dynamics in the following weeks. The first likely price drift is the expected rapid rise in the price of XRP if the SEC lawsuit ends with Ripple's triumph. Experts believe that Ripple does not depend much on the current institutional and regulatory uncertainty. Since most governments focus their policies on BTC and ETH, XRP can enjoy a more loyal environment for long-term expansion. In addition, most long-term XRP investors look forward-looking and are unwilling to open short positions even in the face of a slight price increase. Since the number of short-term XRP holders is also much smaller than BTC, XRP prices tend to remain more stationary in such conditions. The live XRP price today is $0.88 United States dollars with a 24-hour trading volume of $3,740,000,000 United States dollars. We update our XRP to USD price in real time. XRP is down 0.4% in the last 24 hours. Do you think XRP will be able to win the court and restore its former price? Write the answers in the comments. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you liked it, then don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel.